welcome. We are at day 10 of our 31 day Rosie adventure. And day 10 brings us to Rose 10. Now, Rose 10 is one of the few roses that wanted to come with a bud. And this rose sits on the navel chakra in the body. And the navel chakra is where the umbilical cord connected through to the placenta of our mothers. 70% of the emotional programming that we came in with came down through that umbilical cord. So this rose holds uh, a place of um, uh, an opportunity to dive into what is that connection, what is that relationship that we have with our mothers, with being mothered and with in turn mothering. So you'll see with this rose that she is very clear and open on the outside. So what it says to me is that, that our relationship with our mothers may look one way, but the depth and, and the center of this rose is far more complex. And interestingly, right down in the center of this rose, there is a petal a leaf, uh, that is across the center. It's like there's often something hidden in the story and in that connection with our mothers. It's, you know, a process that we can continue for much of our lives, for many of us, unraveling the story and the lineage. And I know for myself that I had to go nine generations back up through my female family line to track out some of the stories that had come down through for myself and which in turn I'd passed on to my daughter and in all probability on to her daughters. So we can start to see the importance of actually um, having a peek and having a look at what we may be still running that may have a connection in to this piece of the mothering and the connection to the mother line. This area in the body too is connected to our digestion and what, we, what we're able to absorb from the food. Um, I don't believe that we are what we eat. I believe we are what we can absorb. And I think that that's very much about life as well. You know, how much of life is digestible and uh, how much of it do we, do we find challenge and difficulty with? So I invite you to breathe this rose into the body and allow her to settle down on the navel chakra and just see what comes up for you today around um, uh, patterns and programs that you're still running that have, have a connection into your uh, relationship with your mother. And this can be, you know, this can also be very positive. You know, it's not necessarily that that's going to involve digging deep. There could be a real sense of gratitude and appreciation for the gifts that were given in that process. And of course, what we receive, if we have good mothering, we are in turn able to offer that to our, to our children. So this is a rich process today. So until next, with much love and rosy blessings.